It has been said that we die twice in this life. The first time when we stop breathing. The second time is when we are forgotten. That is why we must tell the stories of the dead. The next grave we're visiting is a cenotaph, actually. It is one for Michael Jackson here in Detroit in Woodlawn Cemetery. As soon as you come in the front gate, you're going to make a right. And then this will be section six. And then you make a second right. And then you come down right here on this road and you'll see like a dirt road right there just ignore that and there is a little tiny mausoleum in the background and right after this tree right here in section six is the cenotaph of michael jackson He's not actually buried here. This is a headstone for the fans here in Detroit. There was so much memorabilia left for him that the city decided to donate two plots and a headstone for him. Buried underneath the headstone are two caskets filled with memorabilia in honor of Michael Jackson. And here is the headstone for him here. Obviously, he's really buried in California. This is just a cenotaph. Someone has left a DVD, uh, Michael Jackson, this is it. It says, Motown remembers the king of pop, Michael J. Jackson. August the 29th, 1958 to June the 25th, 2009. Songwriter, singer, producer, dancer, choreographer, humanitarian, Jackson 5 member, soloist, 13 number one singles, 13 Grammys, 197 awards, and 37 top 40 hits. Rock and Roll Hall of Famer, and Motown legend gone too soon and this is the headstone cenotaph from Michael Joseph Jackson and remember it's in section 6 when you come into the Woodlawn Cemetery in Detroit Michigan you can stop by and come and pay your respects. Let's see if there's anything on the back of the headstone. You can see the headstone is located right by the road. 